you know, I feel like Michael, man. Oh, man. Uh, we talked about uh, how you, I would say, navigate in this space, being conscious of your energy to people that just meet you, just in case they don't have any misconceptions. It made me think about Terry Crews, big black man, but he does get criticized for being a little bit too smiley. Any comment to that? I would love to talk to him about that because I noticed that too. And, you know, but it also feels authentic to who he is. Mm -hmm. I do not believe that he's shucking and jiving mm -hmm. for somebody. I think that he likes to go to the gym. He likes mm -hmm. to stay fit. Mm -hmm. um, and he recognizes his physicality can intimidate people. Mm -hmm. And it has nothing to do with Hollywood. Would it? Would you kind of talk to him about how to balance that? I wouldn't talk to him about anything. I'd ask questions. Like, I, I don't have an opinion or I feel that he's doing anything right or wrong. I'm just, yeah. you know, I, I, I don't think I've ever actually met him. We might have been in the same rooms, but I've never had a conversation. We've certainly worked with him. What would you ask him? Just like, hey, man, why are you dancing so no, much? No, no, no. I wouldn't have that. Nah, man, I wouldn't have asked him no dumb shit like that. Nah, man. Just how you doing, brother? Yeah. I just to like, feel his energy. Yeah, man. What's your superpower? I don't ask, like, you know... There are times when I see people act like, I remember when J-Lo first was starting to blow mm -hmm. and she did an article in Movie Line Magazine, which is no longer around. She was talking shit about Madonna. And we ran into each other on a plane. I remember saying like, yo girl, there's no other Puerto Ricans in this space. Like, what are you doing? She had a mission and she had a vision and she knew what the fuck she was doing. Mm -hmm. And maybe for all intents and purposes, she was correct. Mm -hmm. But I remember feeling like, yo sis, Tone it down. Don't, don't, yeah, because yeah, people had to, you know, people did that for me, you know, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, pivoting, you know, we're in Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn is like a large part of your roots. Where you were raised in the Bronx or? I was born in the Bronx, raised in Harlem. Raised in Harlem. And now, but Brooklyn seems but I, Yeah, be I've been in Brooklyn for the last 16 years. But this is my second tour of duty. I was in Brooklyn in the 80s. Got you. Yeah. Um, I thought about a fellow actor, Michael K. Williams. Yeah, my brother, man. Michael, man, I was I was talking about him yesterday. And actually, I was thinking about him this morning. Yeah, man, what about him? Like just taking in this the name, what do you like what was what do you think his mission was? You know, I feel like Michael, man. Oh, man. Uh Michael was one of the most beautiful souls that anyone who ever met him would say that. Um, you know, extremely humble. You know, I first met him, he was an extra on New York Undercover. Mm -hmm. And he would like to say, you know, that's my first acting job, but he did like his dance and videos and he had a little bit of shine. Um, but he, uh, he was just really coming into his own. Like he was, I mean, it's a beautiful story. Um, so everybody should go get his book, Steams from My Life. Um, uh, but his his journey, you know, he he had a dream. For him, it seemed really impossible where he's from. Vanderbilt Projects in East New York, Brooklyn. Didn't really know anybody in the business. Just had this crazy dream. How he used to, like, hang out on the roof. Mm -hmm. of this building across from where acting classes were going on and he was to listen through the window mm -hmm. and like that was his first acting class right it was the ear hustling from the right. roof so he was hungry and he was rewarded for his great talent um and you know he was dealing with a lot of demons but right as he in the last few years the work he was doing um with um uh Jesus, uh, I want to say, by, it's not by the block. Um, um, don't get me misquoting it. Mm -hmm. um, crew, something, I can't think of the, the name for the organization he was running. But he was really, he understood mm -hmm. he had a lot more power than he thought he did in terms of his ability to impact young people in his community. And, um, you know, we definitely eat from the same lunch counter. We were working on a project uh, with our brother, Edwin Raymond, yeah. Um, who uh, is a police officer who's now a lieutenant, okay. but he's part of a group called NYPD 12 that sued 
NYPD for stop and frisk program targeting black kids. Yeah. How did you find out about his passing? Uh, Edwin called me. Mm -hmm. I was having brunch in Brooklyn and he was like, yo, bro, MK pass. And uh, yeah, man. Yeah. But we, we still working on the project, um, telling Edwin's story and, you know, uh, Mike will definitely, you know, in spirit, be part of the process. Yeah. Um, not to hop on it too much, I do have one more in that spirit of like, is the pain of it more so because he had so much more to accomplish? It, it's, you know, when it's our time to go, it's our time to go. So I won't say that he had more to accomplish. The pain is that Michael was really fighting demons, mm. you know, that he wasn't able, able to overcome. And he's such a beautiful, sensitive person. And, you know, I, I saw the video, you know, right when he, you know, went to go cop. And knowing him, and just his his transparency in that moment to be who he was on the streets here in Bushwick. Um, I think it was in Williamsburg, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, you know, he's just a beautiful soul, man, that, that a light and an energy that, um, yeah, man, it just, uh, it, it, and it, it, he also passed right after I had heart surgery. So I literally was recovering from quadruple bypass. I had just gotten out of the hospital um, uh, literally like nine days before he passed. So I was in a particular state of vulnerability myself Wow. Um, when I found out that he passed. So, you know, it's, it's it, those two things are kind of tied together for me.